Uh, to let people know, we've been sent. Lots of people have been sending me good wishes for this hernia operation that I'm going to have, and um, I'm not worried about it anymore. I've found a surgeon who just does it naturally. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> all of the other surgeons can't do it naturally. He's probably one of the only people in the world who is going to put the anatomy together in the way it was before, just mend it and stitch it back in the way it should be. Um, so um, that will be going ahead in a couple of weeks. And I think a certain area of holographic breathing has has come through in a way that it wouldn't have done if I hadn't been faced with this surgery and having an inguinal hernia. So to try and heal the inguinal hernia for myself, I did start working with the breath through the hands and feet and the arms and legs because there's a physicalness to it and you're exercising all the muscles through the pelvis, the pelvic floor, up through the groin where that uh, injury was. And I, I thought I'd be able to fix it, but gravity is really, once that's gone and the intestines actually come out and they pop out every time you stand up, you can't really fix it because it, it's continually opening itself. But I worked to strengthen all of those muscles, get it moving, get it breathing. So in the operation, there's more to work with. But in working with that every day and walking and using that when I was walking and, and just whenever I, you know, I'm doing holographic breathing in the background all of the time. But when I would practice working with different organs, different places, I'd do this movement of the hands and feet. And I just started to realize how important it was in the structures of holographic breathing and how it integrated into holographic breathing and how it grounds it, gives it a, quite a physical deep grounding. And it really moves the diaphragm. It really gets the diaphragm working with every breath and the pelvic diaphragm as well without having to think about it. You know, you just get the movement right and the diaphragm just big, long, slow, deep breath. So, um, and I, 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 I didn't heal my inguinal hernia, but I've had a hiatus hernia since I was about 20. And because of injuries to that, I kept pulling it again and again because I was a builder for a while and different things where you're lifting heavy stuff and building my own boat and things. I kept pulling it. So that kind of stayed. But I worked with the hands and feet for about a week and the permanent kind of tightness around the ribs and into the spine was just gone after that and has never come back. So for anybody with a weak diaphragm, that is, you know, I'm going to teach this. I'm talking about something I haven't taught you yet, but we will be teaching this and I will be describing it. That is a fantastic way of working. And also, um, it's an exercise. You are actually physically working with the breath. The, it's not just the arms, legs, hands and feet that are tightening and relaxing, tightening and relaxing. The whole body, every muscle, when you work with that properly and the movement of the jaw, every muscle in the body is working. And you don't feel it so much because they're the muscles of the breath. And the muscles of the breath are kind of unconscious. We don't feel the, you know, part of the breath is kind of part of the unconscious brain because it's going to work whether we're thinking about it or not. And when we're breathing 
We want to feel an expansion or to, you, to, for it to work. But the actual thing is there's a contraction on the in-breath and a relaxation of the muscles, they're all contracting. So because that is stronger when you, you get, it tones your muscles through the whole body, everywhere. Every single muscle gets toned, every single joint gets opened and closed, the breath in the cranium is being worked all the time, you continue, it's like what osteopaths, chiropractors, cranial sacral therapists is breathing motion of the face and cranium. This is working with every breath. It aligns it with the breath and it just breathes it, which is what we're going to be working with today.